Hello class, here's an example using lists of a previously assigned assignment of the grade calculator. You can look up here, I ask or prompt for four test grades. And I put them into, I take the string, I convert them to a float, and I put them into four different variables um, that have the test grades. Then I input, do you wish to drop the lowest grade? And I check here if one, if float test one is less than zero, or float test two is less than zero, or float test three is less than zero, or flo float test four is less than zero. We put a message out to the screen, or I put a message out to the screen, and we exit. What I do here is I take the two, or I'm sorry, the four test grades, put them into a list, and I assign it to a list called F list grades. So this contains each of the four individual grades that were entered. I then say here, if you drop the lowest equals y, big Y, or lowercase y, I ask the list, I ask the min function to return the lowest value from the list and assign it to a variable, and I set the number of tests to 3. Else, if it's equal to new, no, do not drop the lowest grade, either capital or lowercase, I set the lowest to 0. I set the number of tests to 4, and here I... Um, if it's obviously not Y, upper or lowercase, and not upper or lowercase N, we end the program. And look what I do here. I have a little debug to show you that I sum the grades, I min, and I put out the number of tests. I take the average, I take the sum, and I minus the lowest, and I divide by how many tests. So if you are not dropping the lowest, I get the sum of all four, I back away zero, and I divide by four. If you do drop the lowest, I get the sum, I back away the lowest that was found here, and I divide by three. And down here's the logic for letter grade. So let's run it real quick. We'll run it here. We'll do 100. There is no error checking for invalid numbers. Oops, I messed up already, so let me start all over again. And I say yes. Let's come over here and let's run it. And I'm going to put in my name, Prof C. I'm going to put in 100. I'm going to put in 95, 90, and 0. I do not wish to drop the lowest grade. And you can see my debug code here to help us understand what's going on. I put out the sum. I put out what the min is. And I put out the number of tests. Because I am not dropping the lowest, the min grade is a 0. The sum is 285, I divide by 4, and the average for the semester is 71.2 with a C minus. Let's run that code one more time. And let's put in where we are going to drop the lowest grade. So I put in 100, 95, 90, 0, and I say yes, drop the lowest grade. And look, because I dropped the lowest grade, the average goes up to a 95. So see, we could have used lists instead of using those if-else statements, but you would not have learned how to use if-else statements, and we did not cover lists till now.